So, you want to stream but don't have a presentable room or setup? Or maybe you don't want to show your face? Or, which this is the most likely case, you're a weeb. Don't lie to me. Well, worry no more. Today you can be a VTuber. You'll just need a model to get you started. But Roa, I hear you say, VTuber models are expensive. Well, did you know that you can get one for free? I swear to god, I sound like a fucking scammer. You can make your own virtual avatar as a VTuber and customize it to your liking with tons of options to bedazzle your streaming persona. And for this, we'll be using Vroid Studio, which is exactly what I'm using to make this model. Vroid Studio is a free application available on Steam for creating 3D avatars for streaming. Now, here are the requirements for it. Uh, just make sure you're meeting the minimum requirements or you're gonna have a long time working with this application. Now, it's available on Steam, uh, but you can download it through their official website as well. Please do not download from a suspicious website. Well, now you got that installed, it should look like this. Let me just get to my screen for it. There you go. It should look like this once you open it up. Now, before we do anything, let me just do one thing that would make this experience a whole lot better. There we go. Oh, the ice. See, we're saving a lot of money because you won't be getting prescription glasses after using this app. So, now I've shown you how to use dark mode. Also, if you're using a minimum specs computer, it's best to keep the 3D preview quality to normal rather than high so that you don't experience any stutters or hangs when you're using this application. But if your computer is a powerful beast, you can set it to high. Now we've set it to high, we should, I should show you how to use this application. Now, the first thing uh, we have to notice is the layout of the opening screen. Here we have recently edited. It will show you your recently worked on models here. Now below that is the sample models. These are example models if you'd like to see how it works, but we're here for a tutorial, so we won't be needing to open these. Now, we'll be creating a new model from scratch. So click on new. And if you click on new, it will give you two options. You can select a feminine body or a masculine body. Now for this tutorial, we'll go with feminine body. Once you click that, it will load. Okay, now that we uh, click new, the default model should be on your screen here. Looking all bland and bald. Well, not bald, shaved head, I guess. Now, on this row here, it will target a certain aspect of your model. On the left are different aspects of the selected category. So if once we selected face, it would select certain parts of the face. Let's take a look what we have here. Here on the face row, we have, as the title implies, face. Uh, parts of the face that we can edit. So. But before we can move further from that, let me tell you how to control this model. To control the model, you can use the right button of your mouse, the right click, to turn the model around. To zoom in and out, use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Now, if you want to move the model around your canvas, you hold the middle click button. There we go. So. If you need to look at a certain aspect, you can use the scroll wheel, right click, and the middle click to move it around. Since we're working on the face, we're going to zoom in to the face here. Now, let's take a look at the first part. Now it says face sets. Face sets are basically pre-built faces. If you don't want to go into detail creating a face, you can just select one here. There's already a bunch of faces with unique properties. They are pre-made with even different shapes from each other. Even different pupils, different ear sizes, different cheeks bones. But of course, on the right side here are sliders, which controls all of those aspects. 
If you'd like to uh, personalize even more, you can move those. For now, let's take a look. Let's just select a simple looking face. Now, hmm. But we do have plenty of choices here. This looks interesting enough. So, let's go to the next item. Eyesets. Now, similar to before, these are pre-made eyes. This will give you a set, which include eyelash, pupils, the celera, which is the whites of the eye, and eyelids, basically packaged into one set, which is here. But you can control every aspect of it in the following. So, uh, you can actually select a face and change the eyes if you don't like that particular eyes. See, you can make it gorgeous looking with the gorgeous eyelashes and eyelids. You can pick this one. Say we pick this one instead and keep the face. Let's go to the next in the column. These are irises. Basically, the color portion of the eye. Now this changes the very iris. As you can see, there we go. You do have a lot of options here, so uh, you can mix and match these parts, which is great. Let's pick this one for now. You can actually color the eyes to your desired color through the right portion, which is here above my head. You can click here, and as you can see, select a color, put it to bright red, or if you want, you can go bright blue. You can even do it separately if you like, as you can see here. But for now, we'll stick to one eye color. The next one will be eye highlights. Now, you're wondering what that means, but basically it's the shine in the eyes. So the way you see in anime eyes, I mean, I do have mine here, as you can see. But for this example, if you're wondering what the rings are, that's also part of it. You go up to the very top, you can change it to this, which makes it very uh, standard anime look. And you can pick this one, which puts the highlight to the side. Pick this one, which it puts the light into the middle. The um, Let's go with something that makes more uh, anime or shoujo look. Let's go with this one. Let's go to the next part, huh? These are the sleras, which are the whites of your eye. You can even change the color if you like, but for this one, we're gonna leave it to white. But if you do like it uh, with a certain shading, you can pick and even color it on the right, which is over here. Let's go to the next one, which is the eyebrows. We have lots of options for eyebrows. You have, you can make it very shonen look, make the coward look. You can make, uh, I don't know what this is called. App bound. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Pete, the chestnuts. There's those eyebrows. There's the thinnest ones. Which is interesting. So we'll leave it at that. We have eyelids, which are basically these portions, which are a bit hard to see. But you can see them that they're placed on top of the skin to create that detail. You can remove it if you don't want them, but I think they look nice, so let's leave them on. Eyeliner is basically this portion, not the eyelash, don't mix the it for the eyelash. Uh, well, if you change it, you'll see. As you can see over there, you can see that it's added point. You can add this one instead, or this for a sharper look. This for rounded roundness, which is quite unusual. Kinda pretty. I'm going with that one. Now let's go for eyelashes. The current eyelash selected is these pretty ones that are quite bushy and long, but you can select for simpler ones like this. Well, you have plenty of options, so just explore, see what works for you. But for now, we should pick one that goes well with the current selected option, which is I think this one goes well. Let's uh, go to the nose. This is the nose portion. You can control it all here as well if you want to control the aspect and the nose. I'm not good with controlling this, so I just use the default to be honest. <laughs> so, for the nose, 
the if you click, select any of the option this is how it represents itself here if you pick any of these so you're basically selecting a style on how it presents itself facing forward as you can see here there's a line there's it could be this one with a shadow on the side of the nose or you can have a little shine on the right instead or this one is just slightly different there is one where it's just a line in the middle and a shading but uh, I think we'll just stick with the regular one hmm. you know what let's try pick something different let's pick uh, this one all right let's move on to the next this is the mouth portion basically it just gives coloring to the mouth see how pronounced it can be with color you can color the lips if you want to but for now we'll just leave it here at regular now inside mouth you can't really uh, customize it much because you can't see it but there is a way for you to see the inside of the mouth because there's no way to see it unless you go here we'll skip ahead and go to the very last portion which will help us open the mouth now this is the expression editor the expression editor is basically where you put your expressions and how your model will mouth the words once it tracks your lips so these are preset emo uh, emotes based so for this one you have smiling you have sad which is, has an open now angry happy which has a very pronounced open now surprise Closed, which closes the eyes. You have closed left, closed right, which is basically just winking. Now, here are the ones that basically controls your lip syncing. This is when you say a, ah, e, u, e, o. You can control these as well with the here with the sliders on the right. Uh, we'll take care of that next time. So for now, let's just go with um, happy because. That is very pronounced. We will go to the mouth inside. Basically, it changes the texture inside the mouth. How do you want darker, lighter, or just gray for some reason? I don't know why you want that. All right, so let's move on. Here are the lips. Basically, it gives you lipstick around here. You can see it from the bottom part here. There we go. And we'll just leave it to default. We're not gonna put any makeup for now. For cheeks, it's the same. It adds makeup to the character, which is kinda hard to see. Now we'll move on to the next. Skin here is basically changing the skin of your face. Now there isn't really options here. In order to change the face skin, you will have to download assets for it, which I will share to a different tutorial. For now, let's stick to what the app itself can do for you. Here is the face paint, which are basically anything from face tattoos to markings. As you can see, there are very lots of options already. We have kiss mark, well, scar in the face, medical scar, freckles in the front. If you can't see it, here it is. You can see it over there. You get earrings instead. You can become tired if that's your thing. Face markings. Well, if you want to, uh, let's put it back to normal face. Neutral. We go back to face paint, so we can see it properly. We can get a mole. We can get this face, which I don't know. Scars. Scruffy mustache and goatee. We can get whiskers. We can get face paint, and we can get tears. If you want to be a sad boy. We don't really need any of these, so let's just move on. Now, to the next column is the hairstyles. Same as the face, the very top here is hairstyle sets, which is a pre-made, ready-to-go hairstyle. You don't have to customize. It's just ready for you to go. So if we click one of these hairs, like this one, it'll be just a ready-to-go hairstyle, a full cut. You can even change the color here. And let's see what we can do. Let's just say that's the hair color. So yeah, there is a lot of choices. We can go for uh, this one. For this, which are longer hairstyles, as you can see. But for now, let's just stick to what we had. Oh my goodness. Let's just stick to what we had earlier, which is that. Now, 
if we select the next option here, which it says front, basically it gives you banks. Now, remember, you can always change the color, but if you already selected the color, just remember that what you did here is to copy this code and you will have the code for your color. So, you paste it here, the banks will be the same color as well. Remember that? So, save the code for your color or the hex. So, you can select a bunch of banks here. Now, so we'll select this one just for, you know, example here. It's a, like a highlight color. You can even color the highlight. There you go. White. So it doesn't look weird. It was colored brown earlier because the hair was brown. Now, if you select back, it will basically give you hair on your back, which makes sense. You go for long hair, braided, or very long braided. This main hair actually kind of cute so let's go to the next one this is the overall hair now i did mention that the first part is a fully set hair ready to go the third option here combines front and back so if you select anything from here it will remove the back and the front hair because they are a combined version of those so you select one as you can see they're gone like another here it's a ready-made hair ponytail is even one with the princess cut even banks and long hair we have this one which is spiky there's even wildy hairstyles here you can have this long frizzy hair now how did i go back Control z undoes it so let's just go to the next option we have here here we have the ponytails so we do have options here well, not just ponytails, twin tails as well. It will add it to any of the hairstyle you have. It will also add to the overall hair, which is the combination of front and back hair. So let's see, what do we use? Twin tails, double buns, ponytail. Now let's pick these ones. I think they're cute. They call them side because they're, well, not side works. They're just hair on the side of your head. You can pick braids. You can pick a small amount of hair, which you can't see because of the hair we're using right now. You can pick this, which will add more hair. This one, which will add a bit of frizzy looking hair. But we don't need that because the hair we're using already covers up the sides. The next option here will be Ahoge. Now, Ahoge is pretty much an anime standard to anime character design. It's basically this. What a stick of hair standing up. You can have a long one, curved one, or even one that's shaped like a heart. And for this one, I think let's pick the one simple standing ahoge. So let's go to the extras. Extras are basically an extra to layer your hairstyle. This option adds more hair towards the front, and this other one adds more hair somewhere to the sides. If you remove them, you'll see the difference, like this. As you can see, and so not really important, you don't have to use it. And base hair is basically the well, the shaved head. You can remove it to make your character bald, remove everything, and make them bald. So that's it for the hair. We have it all colored and ready to go. So we're going to the body now. Since we pick feminine body, it will show these body types, which basically just changes the underwear they're using. As always, there are sliders to control the body look. There's butt, masculine height, and feminine height, which controls the proportion according. So if you make it very less masculine and more female height, using the sliders here, you can experiment how the model will look. So if you want a tall woman, you can add feminine height and masculine height. But if you just want it to look feminine, go feminine and increase the body size so they can increase more height. I'm not good with uh, figuring out body proportion sizes, so we'll leave it as it is. So, this column is the probably the most exciting portion of a Viroid Studio, which is the outfit. And as you can see, we have school uniforms here. We have uh, beach wear, very cute. Casual wear. We're gonna go through this quick because most of these are self-exploratory. Tops are basically the top half of your clothing. You select one there you go it shows the outfits there's even uh, outfits that are futuristic you can even select a butler's top which is a tail coat small tail coat 
go to the bottoms, there's basically pants and skirts. And so uh, you can pick out these pants, which goes well with that, but you can also experiment, put on skirts instead. This is actually works well, don't you think? Now, I forgot to mention, you can actually modify your tops and your bottoms. So you can modify this skirt, modify the width of the skirt, the length of the skirt, volume, which is how puffy it is. You can modify the inside of the skirt, let's see how to make it narrower. But for now, let's just leave it that as it is. For the top, I don't think we want the shoulder to be too sharp, so we'll remove that. Sleeve, like this. Here we go. And so let's just move on. The next are dresses, which are basically a combination of tops and bottoms. They just called it dress. The yukata and the kimono are basically here. You can always hit undo if you just want to see these dresses for yourself. Here are neck accessories, which are you can add a ribbon, neckties, or laces for the top. But since our clothing already has, well, a built in one, let's just stick with that. Arm accessories just, just refers to gloves. So we can give her gloves if we want to, make her look like a proper butler. We'll give her these gloves, but there are other gloves as well, which are these, which probably would not go well because you guys you can see something's poking out of here so we don't want that so we'll just go with the plain gloves now inner top is basically inside or their underwear since you won't be seeing this a lot unless you're just making someone wearing a sports bra or unless you're doing it for different reasons because you want to be detailed what they wear inside as well you can pick here you'll have to remove the top so, so you can see it to do this you can just go to the top click this option it will remove the top for you it will show you what they're wearing on the inside just hit undo again and you'll be ready to go same goes for their underwear which is basically that so there's not much uh, options there so just pick one and let's move on now for socks surprisingly there is a lot of options thigh highs leggings or you can go for socks unique looking ones which are probably meant for a set that comes from the whole sets here on the top left but don't be afraid to mix and match them and creating your own look so like this one it's a mismatched sock so let's go with that one and now for the shoes uh basically shoes are shoes what do you expect so you have lots of options here as well plain leather shoe dress shoes these kind of shoes i don't know what these are but let's go with these and i think we'll change the sock to something more well more uniform since her top and bottom are basically uniform looking ones it adds a bit of color as for the shoes let's go with these ones very fancy looking, very chic, I must say. Now let's go to accessories. We're almost done, actually. Now you will notice that there is nothing here because you will need to add them yourself. Now you have two options. You have glasses, thin or thick. Now they will appear here and they will not disappear until you delete them, which is basically just right click, remove. These arrows basically control where they go. You can also hit undo if you didn't mean to move them at all. You can even do this, which is basically putting them on her head. Or you can rotate it as well. There are control options here. Click rotate after you raise the glasses and then move it to according to the circle so you can move it to the angle that you want. Now, there you go. It's just hang on the top of her head. If you want that look, you definitely can. But for now, let's just leave her wearing these. Now, the other option here is ears. These are furry ears, which are basically animal ears. We have cat ears. And we have rabbit ears. As usual, there are, uh, there are sliders on the right, which is here. Uh, controls how they look. This is for the glasses, of course. Yep. Make sure you're clicking the right one. So if you're controlling the ears, ear size. 
that stretch here. So we can even bend the right here so it looks like that. So, just experiment. You can even change the colors if you like. You can even set it to the color of the hair so it matches, which is great. But we don't need these. And there's your model. Ta da! There's your model ready to go. Isn't she cute? But there's one last here, which is the look outlines. So, for here, example, if you click outline and then you can click make outline for the hair as you can see you can make out the lines that separate each strand so if you want the hair to be more prominent you can do just that for a face you can you can see the line here but if you want the outline to be more prominent you can increase that and as you can see the lines begin thicker around the jaw but it's always set at point 0, 8, that's the normal. Remnant is basically the lining on the character. If you can see the lining here on the edge of the hair, you can, if you remove the intensity, it'll just become that plain hair. If you remove everything, actually, this is how it looks like without the rim lining. I do like the models without rim lighting, and if you look at my model, I don't have rim lighting. But if you do like it, if you like a certain shine to your character, you can add them back. Make sure you don't overdo it or you can do none at all, which is what I do. Shading is... I actually don't know. I don't use shading. I'll skip that and let you experiment with it. Eye alignment. Basically, it helps you control how the eyes are positioned. Your model will start tracking where your camera is positioned. You can make it outer so it moves like that. But you don't necessarily have to move it, to be honest. And lastly is the bones. Now, I'm not sure how to control the bones as well. I never moved this because I just wanted the model to look good, right? That's it. Right. This is the model and you're done. Now, there's one more thing uh, we have to do before we do anything else. Be sure to hit save. So let's just say I did save that. Once you have the model saved with the file name and within your hard drive, that is not yet your model for streaming. That is just a save file for this application to load so that you can edit it again if you need to. So be sure to keep that file safe in case you want to change the outfit for your model. Now that you have it saved, we want to see it move, right? Click the camera icon on the top right. It will bring you here. So in this screen, this is basically where you pose your model, have it do a bunch of poses so you can test how it looks with all the clothing put on it. If you want your character to be smiling with the poses, be sure to turn the slider, how much smile you want the character to be doing. You can even set the maximum, but let's just put a small smile. You can also do it with other, if you can combine it with the others, make a weird expression here okay so now the model will be tracking the camera and gazing at you you can turn that off by turning off the look at camera and she will stare at the last position the camera was placed so if you click the next here poses animations is exactly that these are poses and animations for your model full body animations, so you can check out how they would appear in a stream. There's even this where they're stretching. There's even one where they say hi. There's one where they give a kick. But there are lots more options here. You have two sets of animations. These are the first one, I would say the feminine ones. Like doing cute hellos. Poses for mostly fit for feminine characters. Animation 2 is fits more for masculine characters. There is one pose that I think that fits them and it's this one. Check this out. Oh, it fits our little pretty butler girl. So yeah, just play around with these poses. Background ad basically adds a background to this here. Just click import background picture and would put it here instead of gray. Now the lighting controls the lighting on your model. You can see it change, as you can see the shading on your model changes. 
if you're particular about photography or how your screenshots would look. Now the wind adds wind, basically. As you can see, it adds wind that blows to the right. Here you can go near that blows downwards or you can blow it up. But if you wanted to turn up, just put the zeros into the values on the sliders. Post processing are basically effects. Here you can go black and white, which is pretty impressive. Well, let's change the pose for now and have her stand still. And we go back to post processing. You can the color ratio, you make it zero. Look at that. That just looks like a manga shot, isn't it? So just experiment. Now, tick size is basically would change the uh, screenshot, the size of the image when you hit the screenshot button, which is here. The other button is the pause button, if you want them to stop in the middle of their animation that they were doing. But keep in mind that the eyes will always track no matter what you do. So let's let me try putting up a pose and let me try putting a cute pose and. Okay, there we go. I'm posting this on Twitter, I think. But basically, there you go. The model's ready to go. The animation looks nice. Now, if you want to load it into your preferred program for streaming, we're going to need to export the model, which is this, the last step. Now, you can export it as a VRM. That is the file type needed so that you can start streaming with, the, with your model. You can upload it to Vroid Hub, which is the online service for Vroid Studio. Basically lets you upload your model to their servers. Or export it for 3D printing if you want to 3D print your model. So, hit export VRM. So your model will be in a T-Post. Don't let that intimidate you. Export model require to input certain information about the model. You could put a name to your model. For example, we gotta name this character, um, he's a butler purple hair, so I don't know, I'll just call her Violet. As the creator, it's me, Dono Cadenza. Now these are optional if you want to fill them out. I'll just put it version 1, this is our first version. Now these are the other properties and it says who can assign a person to the avatar. You can make it anyone so that anyone can give a personality to it or you can give it to someone if you are making it for someone else or if it's only for you you can only you can use it then now you can check here if you want the model to be used for these kinds of things so you can just check it all since it is your model but this one is will be for anyone uh let's not turn these on because well, this is for tutorials. So, uh, let's put a creative comment slider so that anyone can use it, and then we'll hit export. Once you've placed that file name and click save on the file explorer, it will show you this processing screen, and that took less than a minute to finish. Now, the, that means the model has been exported. Congratulations, you have your model ready for VTubing. And yes, there you have it. Now if you need to edit the model, for example you've already closed the application, you can open the app and it will always have the recent model that you edited. If you move the file to somewhere else then it won't be able to load it. But if you haven't, you can just click here and change the output or any aspect of the model that you need. There you go. The model should load up. Here you go. And she's there, ready for a new outfit. And that's how you make a model in Vroid Studio. Now, that's just the basics and dealing with the options given to you by Vroid Studio. I haven't discussed how to use custom items. I haven't shown you how to download assets and to apply it to your model. We'll discuss it in at a different video, I mean. Uh, but for now, Say hello to Violet. I'll be sure to uh, see if I could use it in a stream. <laughs> so yeah, that should be it for today. Right, so yeah, um, we're very thankful that you um, watched this video to the end and Violet seems to be happy. But other than that, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm, as you can see here, 
she's very happy that you guys came by today. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at that. She's cute. That's so cute. But anyways, thanks so much for reaching the end of the video. If you like uh, what you see here, please hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. Maybe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And thank you again for watching till the end. Have a good day. Bye.